Okay, let's go ahead and find the angles of this triangle. So you can see here we have a triangle and the angles inside this triangle is x degrees. So these are all in degrees. Here we have another x degrees and this is two x degrees. And what we wanna do is find the actual angles of this triangle. Okay, so if you think you can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct result in just one moment. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I wanna help you be as successful as possible in mathematics. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for, something like the GED, SAT, or teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link uh, to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make learning math much, much easier. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely need to be taking great math notes, but if your notes are so-so right now, you can use mine uh, as you improve your notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the angles of this particular triangle right here. This is not that difficult, but let's go ahead and see the answer right now. So the angles is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. So how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about finding the angles within a triangle. Okay, so what do we need to know in order to solve this problem? Well, basically we need to know this right here. Okay, we need to know this main property of a triangle and that is the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So take any triangle, if we add up all three angles of any triangle, it doesn't make a difference what type of triangle we're dealing with, we will get 180 degrees. So with that knowledge in mind, what we could do is set up a nice equation here. We can literally just take this angle, add it to this angle, add it to this angle, and set that equal to 180 degrees and solve for x. Okay, so if that's what you were kind of thinking to do, well, basically at this point forward, this just becomes an algebra problem. So if you were ever wondering if there's algebra in geometry, of course, this is a, per this is a perfect example of um, algebra in geometry. And another thing, just kind of a little side comment here, if you're thinking about when you take high school level geometry, you generally need to take that after an algebra course. So basically you go algebra, then geometry, and then algebra two, and then you can get into interesting math like pre-calculus. Of course, these uh, courses are interesting, but pre-calculus is a, uh, you know, definitely a big step up in terms of how advanced it is. Okay, but this is not difficult in terms of the algebra required to solve this problem. So let's go to do this right now. So again, the sum of the angles is gonna be equal to 180 degrees. So X plus this 2X plus this X right here is gonna be equal to 180 degrees. Now, remember, uh, when you have an unknown value like X, the only way you're gonna be able to find this value is by setting up an equation. And here is the basic equation. So let's go to solve this right now. Not going to be difficult. All right, so here we go. So x plus 2x plus x, what do we have here? Well, we have uh, like terms. So an x, a 2x, and another x all together, that's 4x's. So 4x is equal to 180. How do we solve 4x? Oh, all we need to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by 4. So 180 divided by 4 is 45. So what does that mean? Well, x is equal to 45. So remember, back in our figure here, we're talking about x degrees. So this angle right here is 45 degrees. This angle right here was also x degrees. So this is 45 degrees here. And this angle is 2x. So that's gonna be two times 45, which of course would be 90 degrees. Okay, so hopefully you found this very easy. And if it wasn't easy uh, going into the problem, hopefully now the next time you face a problem like this, which you'll definitely encounter in algebra courses, geometry courses, this is a very standard type of problem. 
Now, oftentimes, too, the, the expressions, the algebraic expressions, can be more challenging, and don't let that kind of bother you. In other words, they might throw in something like this. This angle will be 2x plus 1. This angle might be like 3x, and this angle right here might be like 3x minus 5. Don't let that bother you in terms of, oh, you know, just because these expressions are more challenging, the same procedure follows, right? You just simply add all, uh, add all these terms, this plus this plus this will equal to 180 degrees. And now you just need to apply your algebra skills to solve for X. Okay, so if you need help with any of this stuff, you can find um, some basic algebra in my pre-algebra course. And of course, I have a full geometry course as well. But if this video was interesting and it helps you out to even the smallest degree, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.